Rob Draper is a British designer. His personal mixed media pieces have some interesting effects. He often uses collage and masks areas with spray paint where he then adds ornamentations and hand lettering onto his appropriated images. Dex Fernandez is from the Philippines. He has a street art background and is a multidisciplinary artist. If you look at his works, it appears that these photos have been drawn or painted over. Upon closer inspection, you will see that this is embroidery, but also involves paint and ink. Italian artist Naomi Vona, also known as Mariko Coda, takes magazine images and recontextualizes them with blocks of color, mark makings, and patterns. Hattie Stewart is a British artist and illustrator that playfully doodles over images with a bright color palette. In this video, we will recontextualize and alter a photo by drawing or doodling over it using the Procreate app and taking inspiration from the artists mentioned. You may wish to save some example artworks by these artists to use for your own reference. First I'll do this one in a Naomi Vona style, and then I'll do a second one using some of the other artist's techniques. As you watch the tutorial, you can use the chapter markers to go to specific areas if you wish. Pause it and have a go on your iPad. This task should take about 45 to 60 minutes to complete. How to remix a photo by drawing and doodling over it in Procreate. For this task, you are going to need an image. A photo of a person would work best. Find an image you like. Tap it to see the size. We will be creating work A4 or A3 in size, so I suggest finding something around 1000 pixels. Pictures around 500 may be okay for A4, but may be pixelated when viewed at 100%. To save the photo, tap and hold. When the window opens, select Add to Photos. We are now ready to start our work. Open Procreate. In the top right corner, press the plus sign. Here you will see some options. For this task, simply go ahead and select A4. Our document opens and you can decrease or increase the size by pinching two fingers in or out. You can also turn or rotate it if you wish by pinching your two fingers and turning as well. The first thing we need to do is insert the photo we will use. Go to the Actions tab or the Wrench icon here in the left hand corner. Select Add, Insert a Photo. Your Photos library will open. Tap which photo you will use. The photo will automatically appear in the center of the canvas. Click Fit to Canvas here at the bottom. To further increase or decrease the size, use the corner nodes to drag it in or out. Note these dotted lines. Whatever appears out of the frame here will be cut and lost once you set it. To set the image and exit, deselect the arrow in the blue circle from the top right. So up here in the corner we have our layers panel. Click this letter N. We are going to reduce the opacity to help us draw more easily. Press the plus sign to add a new layer. One will be created on top of the photo. Next, go into the color picker. You can select the color from the outer area here and the hue from the center. Under the pencil tool area, you will see very textured choices available. I'm going to use inking, syrup. If you tap your pen, some further options are available to refine your line marks. If you have shaky hands, go into stabilization and adjust the settings to smoothen the curves. On the left here, you can adjust the size of your pen using the slider. The slider underneath is for adjusting opacity. The back arrow here is to undo and the other is to redo. Let's start drawing. I'm going to make a green background, so to do this I'm going to trace around the head. I often zoom in and out and rotate the canvas slightly so it's easier to draw more accurately. To fill in, simply drag the color picker into the area. So you see my entire page turned green. This happened due to the threshold setting. I'll explain this in a bit. I'm just going to zoom in and fill some areas by hand. When you have a closed shape, simply drag your color picker into the space and lift your Apple Pencil to fill it in. I'm now going to trace and fill the hair pink. To do this, you always want to add new areas of a drawing on a new layer. So if you make a mistake, it's easier to fix without affecting other areas that have already been drawn. I'm now going to make her jacket red, and again, I'm going to do this on a new layer. If you need to create clean corners, simply extend your line and use the eraser tool to clean it. The eraser tool has a menu of different textures available, just like the pencil. I'm going to create a new layer, but I want it between layer 4 and 3. I'm going to make a circular pattern over her face. I'm using the same color as the background green. Feel free to use a different type of pattern you like. Refer to the artist examples you gathered for ideas. 
I'll draw these circular lines over the red jacket here and then adjust it later. So to hide these green circles over the red, I'll go into the layers panel, tap and hold the layer and drag it underneath the red jacket layer. So I'm going to use a blue and create another layer and drag it to the top. I'm just going to outline over some areas and see how it goes. I'm going to add a pattern in her hair as well. One useful tool with color is if you tap and hold a color, your color picker will change to that exact color. I'm going to make a darker pink and start adding it to the hair. I'll add my marks and use the eraser tool to clean it up. I'll repeat the previous steps and do something similar with the green background. I'll do something similar as before with the jacket, but make the pattern in a different direction. I think I will add another white dotted pattern on top here on the jacket. I'll top off the drawing with another white dot pattern layer on top of the blue line, and then another pink one. So I've gone back into the work and erased the eye and mouth area. If you followed this section, feel free to jump to the chapter for exporting your work. Next, I'll show some techniques for other styles. For this section, we will explore the work of Rob Draper, Dex Fernandez, and Hattie Stewart. To save some time, I'm going to use some of the elements from the previous drawing. I've duplicated the file and will just delete some of the layers. Using the syrup brush again, I'm going to fill the eyes white. I'll use the eraser tool to clean up my line work. Like Hattie Stewart, I'll make some drips coming from the eyes. For the pupils, I'm going to go into the layer, select the N and lower the opacity. To draw arcs, simply draw a curve and hold your pencil in the end position and Procreate will smoothen it. I'll outline this in black as well. I'm going to add some text in the hair like Rob Draper and we'll make a new layer. If I press onto a colored area with my finger and hold it, that color will be selected. I'm going to make a slightly darker hue. Here's a tool to keep all your line work only in the hair area. Tap on the new layer you created and select Clipping Mask. You will see a downward arrow which means the layer is linked with the layer underneath. You see now when I make a mark, they are confined onto the shape layer of the hair. I'm going to create another layer on top with these yellow guidelines that I will use to help write the text. I'll just write a repetitive sentence, what does it all mean? Once the text is done, I'll delete the guideline layer. On another layer, I'll draw a blue blob-like character. I'll draw a sphere. Hold my Apple Pencil in place and Procreate will clean it up for me. I'll make it come out of the shirt and fill it in. I don't have to be accurate around the shirt as I will drag the layer underneath the shirt or reorganize some layers later on. I'll add a second character on the left side. This one I want to place behind the face but I'm unable to do this as the background of the original photo has not been erased. Instead, I'll have to lower the opacity and erase alongside the face and then later remove the opacity. I'll add the pupils and use the eraser tool to make them pie-like. As I erase, you see green appears. This is because I did not create these on a new layer. So what is happening is it is erasing the black and white showing the green underneath. This is why it's important to create new layers as your work develops. I'll have to go back in and recolor these areas. I've gone and completed the eyes on both characters and added mouths. I'm going to add some patterned circles on her face and just like before, I'll draw an oval and hold my pencil in position for Procreate to smoothen it out. I'm also going to draw some curved lines like Dex Fernandez. When drawing curves or arcs, Procreate will also smoothen these if you hold your pencil in place after drawing the line segment. I'm going to add these marks in the blank areas and have some in the front of the main image and some going behind. To do this, I will place them on different layers and reorder the sequence. 
I've added further ornamentation to the face, and I think I'll try adding some kind of gradation to the background. I'll put a new layer on top and try some airbrush or splatter brushes. I'll do the same thing with the shirt area. To save our drawing, go to Actions and select Share and JPEG. It will then prepare for export. Then click Save Image and it will be saved in the Photos app. You can also go to Share, JPEG, and select AirDrop if you wish to export it to another device. I hope you see it can be a fairly simple process and this tutorial was a basic outline. A key takeaway is you can use the work of other artists as inspiration to create your own. To take it further, I'd perhaps further refine the second blob character and maybe plan out a limited color palette beforehand. I hope yours turned out well. Thanks for checking out this video. I have a few other Procreate tutorials as well if interested. The playlist will be linked above. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, or leave a comment, suggestion, or video request below. This has been a Video Production.